Hey Geeks, I'm Trey Guillotine and today I'm talking about some possibilities for Grand Theft Auto 6. If you enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe and share the video around so others can join in the conversation. Let's geek out! If you follow me on any of my social media, you've probably noticed I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto. I know a lot of people hate it for being so offensive, but it's one of my favorite game series. I love it. It's very ridiculous. It's satire. It's reflecting the real world to the point that it's so ridiculous that there's no way it can be serious, much like Jonathan Swift's modest proposal. Though I'm not trying to compare Grand Theft Auto to Jonathan Swift, though I guess that's what I just did, so sorry about that. But playing through the series brings up a topic I think a lot about and have been asked to talk about, possibilities for Grand Theft Auto 6. This is all speculation and my own ideas. I'm not getting this from any news from Rockstar or any news from any kind of game site. And hopefully they are actually working on Grand Theft Auto 6, but it's taking so long to come out because they're so hard at work on Red Redemption 2, and they're not just working on squirting out more DLC, microtransactions for Grand Theft Auto Online. I feel the biggest question for a new Grand Theft Auto game is where will it take place? It's possible they could create a new city to add to their world, maybe a New Orleans city, that's something that I always want. I always want to play a game in New Orleans, and I kind of got that with Mafia 3, but not really, and Rockstar does it so well. I would really love for them to do a New Orleans city, but I doubt that's going to happen. But I think Grand Theft Auto's best bet is to do what they've been doing and revisit a city they've already created and give it a huge makeover. And in this, I see a few options. Now, if they follow any kind of pattern, there's a chronological pattern that I've noticed that if you go chronologically from Vice City to Grand Theft Auto V from the 1980s to 2014, 15, pattern goes Vice City, San Andreas, Liberty City, New Liberty City, New San Andreas. So if you're going in that pattern, then the next one would be a new Vice City. As cool as it would be to be back at the Malibu wearing Hawaiian shirts, I think this would be their weakest move. Even replaying Vice City as dated as it is, there are so many areas that look and feel like Los Santos. I'm sure there are ways they could change Vice City, but it would still be that club and beach scene that we saw so much of in Grand Theft Auto V. Their second option, which I think this would be really cool and kind of surprise everyone, if they went way back to their Grand Theft Auto origins of the original games and go back to Grand Theft Auto London. Though I never had a chance to play it, this was one of their early games before Grand Theft Auto 3. But I think London or even just a European setting would be a nice change of pace, with a new perspective and a new culture. Plus, 2017 America is already a big satire, so let's, let's do something a little different. Finally, if this isn't their big grand plan, I think it should be. They should revisit another city in San Andreas, specifically Las Venturas. If you didn't play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the game takes place in the entire state of San Andreas, where Los Santos is located right alongside San Fierro, which is the San Francisco city, and Las Venturas, which is a Las Vegas city. They could do San Fierro in the next game. It's a very different city from Los Angeles. It's a very Bay Area, very artistic. But Watch Dogs 2 came out less than a year ago, so it would be a little too on the nose for their own San Francisco setting. Los Venturas offers the perfect opportunity to create a city very different from the others. It's a desert valley full of casinos. Plus, if they take us back to Las Venturas, and then in GTA 7 bring us to San Fierro, they could essentially create the entire state of San Andreas for GTA Online. Given all of the events and DLC they throw out for GTA Online, it's clear that whatever direction they want to go, GTA Online is going with them. Given an entire state to play in with your friends opens so many possibilities, as well as given the opportunities to bring in Liberty City and Vice City in future expansions making it a large and strong MMO, similar to WoW and traveling all over the globe, or at least in the country. Thanks to Wizard World, I have some exciting news to help with your next con experience. When buying tickets to your next Wizard World Comic Con, enter the discount code GUILLOTINEGEEK to get 10% off your ticket purchase, and use the money you save to buy some awesome merch or meet a celebrity. The next Wizard World Comic Con is in Columbus, Ohio between August 4th and the 6th. What are your thoughts on the future of the GTA series? Let me know in the comments and follow me on all the internets. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it around so others can join in the conversation. You can read my movie, TV, and game reviews at guillotinegeek.blogspot.com and check out my Patreon to support more of my future content. And subscribe to my channel to geek out some more. Thanks for watching and have fun. One, so Captain America, Thor, Hulk.